Hey everyone, what's up? This is Rich. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Gmail email account with the Evolution Mail client in Ubuntu Linux 8.10. Evolution is really easy to find because it's the icon directly next to the Firefox icon, but if you have removed that for whatever reason, you can click on Applications and then Internet and then Evolution Mail. Both do the same thing. When you launch the Evolution Mail client, the first thing, if you haven't run it before, this is assuming you've never run it before, you encounter the setup assistant first so we click forward and uh, first asks if you want to restore a mail account from a backup being this is a gmail account we don't have to do that so we click forward and then we put in the required information so I'm going to go ahead and put in my full name here and my gmail email address it asks you if you want to make this your default account sure this is the only account I'll be using in here you can put an organization that's if you run a business or something like that or reply to I don't need to do that so I'm going to just click forward from here. The server type is going to be IMAP. Now it should be important to note here that you do have to enable IMAP in your Gmail account first. If you haven't done that yet, log into your Gmail account, go to the settings and enable the IMAP and then you can come back to this video. It's just enable or disable. It's very simple. So we'll select IMAP here and then the server is IMAP imap.gmail.com. The username is the full Gmail email address. When it asks if you want a secure connection, yes you do. You want to select SSL encryption. The authentication type, we can do check for supported types here. It's going to query the server. You can opt to remember the password or not. Um, if you are on a shared computer or a public computer, you probably do not want it to remember the password. But if it's your personal computer and no one else uses it, it should be okay. We click forward from here. First checkbox is how often to check for new mail. I have it set to check every 10 minutes, which is the default. And check for new messages in all folders, yes. Check for new messages in subscribed folders. In IMAP, you have folders that you are subscribed and not subscribed to. I would put yes for this one too. For use a custom command to connect to server, we do not need to do this, so we can leave that unchecked. Show only subscribed folders. We don't need to do this because we do want to see all the subscribed, uh, all these subscribed and unsubscribed folders. Override server supplied folder namespace. We don't need to check that. Apply filters to new messages and inbox on this server. I purposely leave this unchecked because it's better to use the Gmail side filters than local filters. You can use evolution filters if you want to. That's up to your personal preference. Check new messages for junk contents. I leave this unchecked because the Gmail spam filters are good enough. We do not need to use the local spam filters in this case. Automatically synchronize remote mail locally. I go ahead and check that. You don't need to, but I do it anyway. Click forward. And then we're going to configure our outgoing mail server, which is SMTP, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. That's smtp.gmail.com. Server requires on the excuse me, authentication, you want that checked because it does use secure encryption. Yes, we want SSL. Authentication type is plain. Uh, we can click check for supported types. It's still going to come back with plain. And then we use the username as the full Gmail email address. You can opt to remember the password or not. Once again, if you're on a shared computer, you might want to have that unchecked. Being this is my personal system, I'm just going to leave that checked and have it remember the password. And then I'm going to click forward. Here we just put a name for our account we just created. By default, it will put the email address, but you could, could call it just Gmail. I put it as the full email address just for simplicity's sake and click forward. Now we select the time zone. I am going to select an eastern time zone once I locate it, and there it is. You can also just click on the map, by the way. You'll see these. I don't know. Uh, you'll probably have to watch the high definition version to see this, but there are little uh, blinking small icons, and you can just click one, and it will zoom the map and go to it. But So I'm going to actually do it this way. Either way, either by the drop down or by clicking the map, you can do it either way. And then click forward, and we're done. So we can click apply. The client will then load. It will do its synchronization with the IMAP server. 
and we're all set. Now the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to land on a uh, folder called on this computer which is the equivalent of local folders. If you've seen that in Mozilla Thunderbird or in Windows Live Mail that's what on this computer means. It means local mail. You get a welcome wagon email from the Evolution team. It tells you how to use the uh, email client and so on. But what we want to be concerned with is the Gmail account. So we go into the inbox here. I don't use this Gmail account very often. So this is, I have a letter from the Google Earth Sites here, March 2009 issue. And here, there's all the Gmail folders. If I had any labels in Gmail, they would show up here as well. There's the spam folder, the trash folder, the all mail folder. Everything is here. Uh, what I'm going to do now is send a test message to myself to make sure it works. So I'm going to click new. And then I'm going to send it to myself, call it test mail from evolution. And I'm going to type this is a test mail from evolution mail client and send. And we'll do a send receive. It says I have one unreceived, excuse me, I've received one new email message in your inbox and I click it and there it is. It's as simple as that. So I've got my Gmail account all set up in the client. I, whoops, well, I'm in my swim mistake there. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. If you like email clients rather than doing it the web way, you will like Evolution. Now, granted, you could use Mozilla Thunderbird as an alternative. And there's also many other mail clients for Linux. But the one that comes provided with Ubuntu, that being Evolution, this is good. This is a really good mail client. Uh, for those wondering what version this is, this is version 2.24.3. If you want to learn more about the Evolution Mail client, it is projects.gnome.org slash evolution. You can learn all about it. Uh, in addition to that, you can also just download it directly here. So if you click the download link, you can get the current stable release. If I click Evolution, and there it is, you can get it as a tarball or uh, you know whatever you like. So you can get it either inside Ubuntu, outside Ubuntu, however you choose to do it. And that's it. Happy emailing everyone. Take it easy.